in the colorful streets of white city Soweto where aspiration were as common as drum beats, a little child by the name of Kamohelo Molapo discovered his calling in an unexpected place, the tennis court. Kamohelo was born and developed in the center of Arthur Ashe Tennis Center. His remarkable path from an energetic youngster to a celebrated tennis player is a proof of a strength of love, determination, hard work and unwavering dedication. Kamuhelo was drawn to tennis at an early age. I started playing tennis at the age of 10. Then I went by by playing tennis. Then I started loving the sport at the age of 12 because there was a coach who had believed in me and who was very passionate about my talent. The local tennis court tucked away in a corner of White City became a heaven for a player. A place where he could let his imagination run wild and his passion for sports blossomed. It wasn't just a game for Kamuhelo. It was a calling, an avenue through which he could express himself and make a mark in the world that, that often seemed towering. I was selected to represent Gauteng. Then we won the title. Then I was also elected to represent the South Africa in the land, uh, range, range, what, what, okay, I forgot the name of it, the, but then it's a global tournament where countries meet together to play against each other. I went to Israel for two weeks and Lesotho for one week. Then around provincially, I went to Limpopo, Northwest, Bloemfontein, Bumalanga, because out there you meet different players who have different talents, who are good in their own ways. Some you can handle, some you cannot. Sylvia Molapo was a woman who resided in the White City. She was more than just a mother. She was a rock on which a rising star stood, demonstrating an amazing force of unshakable love and support. Every tennis fan in the neighborhood knew her son, who was destined for glory and Sylvia, with a caring nature, was wine behind the wings. It all started as an easy request. A small boy who loved tennis came to his mother with a sparkle on his eye. Mom, can you buy me a tennis equipment? Even though Sylvia was not familiar with the details of the sport, she could see her son's res resolve in his look. She immediately accepted his dream and set out a journey to nurture his talent. I am not a good person. I am not a good person. I when I was a pal, I was a pony. 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 I the tournament in the game of the heads, Reza Macau Felara tournament to Gomu Shebel. A commona alicudimo, a tonalibo, Kiman declared that the Bosarena William C. A tonalibo nahe, but a mona fitel lamo. As a manager of the player, Motlazi Robert Majoro found fulfillment not in personal accolades but in knowledge that he played a crucial role in the development of the future stars. Many people who come to visit Arthur Ashe, they become amazed. So definitely uh, this facility can produce the, the best tennis players, not only here, even Muletani, Dube, there's tennis almost uh, every most of places here in Soweto. So kids here must be given opportunity to grow so that they can take tennis forward. It might not be this year, it might not be in 2024, but if we concentrate and keep on working on them in the next five years, and there will be better professional people. The legacy of Kamuhelo and others like him was a testament to the enduring impact of Motlati's work at the Asha Earth Tennis Center in Soweto, a legacy that continued to unfold with which new face that walked through its gates carrying dreams as fast as South African sky. So it is very important for us as an association 
to see to eat that youngster like Kamuhelo get opportunities uh, attend tournaments get somebody who will look after them because it is this uh, young people that will take our nation to another level that will keep the standard of tennis going on even beyond our times beyond the legends that we know from Soweto so we we really really doing our best to look after development to see to it that they it's tennis uh, young people in Soweto are being given opportunity there are tournaments that are there and we wish to see young people be, uh, being able to attend such tournament the call of the international stage read Kamohelo early in his tennis career with every swing of the record and each skill honored on the course of his home. He natured a dream that transcended the boundaries of Soweto. Arthur Tennis Center, where he had first fallen in love with the sport, had become the launching pad of a journey that would take him to Israel, Lesotho and every province of South Africa. For Soweto Sports News, I am Katleho Musielele. The premier Impala FC from Penville Soweto has emerged as a force to be recalled within the football landscape of Johannesburg. This football club with a rich history of success has not only claimed prestigious titles like a Discovery Cup in 2015 and the SAB League Championship, but also became a symbol of commitment to excellence, teamwork and community development. The team has developed and discovered a rising star Tinam Kejani, who was born and raised from Eastern Cain, but later relocated to Soweto Penville to pursue his football career. When I was Ga trainer na yo, ga trainer. Kute kulen guam, ga bon kute tisking el tanda, ga attend ama games alo team beng zalagiona. Ese bangkono kute ba bon kute no lendwani akwa zulala, bang faga line upu, ga zala ga zala. There was this post, a ki creating in terms of um, a like Hribula Academy, but not in, in per se academy, but development per se. Then that uh, post, it reached uh, almost this, uh, our, all of our provinces. Where like, Yena, Lintwana, Ibuya, Imtat. Yeah, so he texted me, Angelo Gutaman coach, can I please join your team? Then I was like, okay, where are you from? Then I, Mbuya Imtata, but I would love to say, then I, I, I mentioned everything, which, okay, how the process is going to be done. Ditebo Hoje Marumo, with a mere 10 months of coaching experience, has swiftly become a transformative figure at Premier Impala FC. His influence has brought a wealth of knowledge and expertise to the team, resulting in consistent high level performance that have left an indelible mark on the club's history. He also love watching football. Uh, I, it was two weeks back where we were watching Kaiser Chiefs. Then obviously I'm a Kaiser Chiefs fan. Then he busy like the plumber will not believe for control. And the record that we busy with our coach Ray Santos is the team in goal. The team in goal. So we can move on to the why or the team in goal. Our coach. Check out every position, depth the ball. So go and give like, okay, you play football, you also understand football. You understand. Then he also posed the question of good coach when I can do funum ufuna e wing is a laganja. Then give like sixteen. And so go and not allow boots or coach can do an ubata wing is one. Obvious runa we are ball position based T. We start the ball from the back. So when I immediately, you, like, I'm a winger's way to, they give us width. Then immediately they give us width. It's either the opposition in Ntoba Yetzangin, they commit themselves, Bamaka men to men, they leave the space behind. My wingers are speedy. He's speedy. Very. 
very speedy. I think if not uh, after Shaba, first team players, Shaba, he comes second. Tebuhov's journey with the Premier Impala began 10 months ago but marked a commitment to instill a winning mentality and a culture of excellence within the team. As a relatively new face in the coaching arena, Marumo faced the challenge of earning the trust and respect of both players as well as the management. However, it did not take long for his coaching prowess to shine through his stages. Mkachani's love affair with football started on the local street where he felt a never-ending hunger for the game. His early skills in the game did not go unnoticed as he attracted the attention of local coaches and fans who saw the potential in him for the future success. <laughs> With the natural talent that made him stand out, Mkachani's rise to the prominence was swift with taking him from unorganized young teams to organized games going forward. For so way to TV Sports News, I am Katleho Musielele. As we say goodbye to the exciting year 2023, the sports world saw incredible events and accomplishments in a variety of sports in Gauteng as well as Soweto. Let's review the year-end results in football, boxing, chess, swimming in more details. The chess legacy continued to thrive at Deep Club Soweto as young people between the age of 8 years and 18 years continue to master the art of chess. Uh, we used to play chess a lot um, in my street, uh, so we didn't have anything to do. Ever. So the guy McDonald came up with the idea and said, "Ah, man, you know, you always available, and we have nothing to do. Ever. Now, why not start something that will benefit the children?" For over 14 years, the chess club has remained steadfast in its commitment to teaching young kids from Soweto the art of playing the beautiful sports. Mahosini and Mokondeleli Boxing Club is the club that won World Champions Awards at the Cape Town Boxing Awards in April as it produces the World Champions in Soweto. Every day when I wake up and come to gym, I said in 2023, I want to see myself reaching, having my own world as a world champion, uh, as a champion. So it's what I'm pushing for, it's what I'm training for, it's what my journey is going for. Yeah, but in the future, I want to be world champion. Each year, Houghton Province hosts water polo matches so that the local teams as well as the teams from other countries can participate in the tournament. Before the competition winner is announced, a tournament lasts for five days in order for the games to play. So it water polo represent the province of Houghton. Players must be extremely fit, powerful swimmers and be able to swim quickly to be able to play in the beautiful game of water polo. 
we had nothing of this nature in uh, not only in, in South Africa but in the Gauteng region. So the reason why we did it is to promote senior water polo. There's a lot of water polo at junior level, at school level, but we really needed to do something for uh, you know our senior men and women. Hence, Gauteng Water Polo uh, came up with this uh, concept and this idea, and it's the second year that we're hosting it, and it's becoming a huge success. Uh, we're getting more and more spectators, more and more support. There's a lot of excitement amongst the players. You know, as you as you know, we're getting uh, teams coming from not only all over the country, from from Cape Town, but from our neighbouring countries, from Zimbabwe, from Mozambique, uh, as well as a team from the UK and a team from Portugal. So there's a wonderful uh, international uh, you know, participation as well, which really adds to the prestige of the tournament. Golf being a cross-country sport in which the players use his various clubs to hit a tiny ball from a series of starting places into the succession of a hole on the course. Young people from Deep Kloof, Soweto, have joined Tiger Academy to learn more about playing golf. My aunt plays golf, so I used to watch her play, so I started playing because of, her, I think, uh, in last year, August. And yeah, I just love golf because it's nature and it's, it's like life. It's not um, easy, but it's beautiful. Keletso Mekwa says he would want to see himself being the best golfer as the world well-known Tiger Woods. When I was in a golf ranch in Eye of Africa, I saw that uh, golf was my thing. It was in the blood. Yeah, so I came here and saw an opportunity that I can be there. I can be the next Tiger Woods. The skateboarding riders of Soweto or others are on an assignment to offer completely skateboarding organized instruction, interesting events, as well as spectacular contents. Soweto skateboarding is committed to create a safe and welcoming atmosphere for skateboarders at all level skills. Kamohelo Reiners from Soweto Tube says it took him three years to completely being a professional skateboard rider. I would say skateboarding, like in our culture, you know, there's drugs in our community and everything. So I would say it takes you, like, it takes your mind out of everything that's happening in the street, you know, because some of us deal with bad things at home. So just pick your board up, go outside have a little fun with your friends and skate, learn new things, get to learn how other people survive through skateboarding, you know. So a two cycling foundation academy as ACF has one gold medal and one bronze medal from the Cape Town Cycling Championship. The SACF is a sole foundation in Gauteng province that trains young cyclists to compete throughout the country. The SACF was created in Deep Kloof and includes riders from across Soweto. Similo Keswa, the gold medalist, explains his preparation before the championship and how he trained himself before participating in the championship in Cape Town. This program we're running, uh, it's basically daily, you know, weekdays, Monday to Friday, kids, they have an activity Monday, Tuesday. We're training at uh, Deep Kloof uh, by our location there. That's where the people, they get, the, the kids, they get conditioned and get to do various exercises, cardio and stuff. To be honest, this track cycling, it's not what every cyclist dreams of. But I must mention, this is the fun uh, fundamentals. This is the basically what we call foundation of cycling because here that's where you get to learn your bike handling skills and you get to race in a small space but you have to do so much you know uh, in terms of out running or out racing your your fellow athletes or competitors so to say the dstv acidality challenge saw super sports united emerge joyfully securing the championship for the 2022-2023 season and the football crown was buzzing with energy super sports united's place as the unquestioned champions was cemented on saturday afternoon during the dramatic 1-1 tie with chaser chiefs in the thrilling conclusion this victory will surely be remembered as the high point of the football season since it concentrates the team's strength and resiliency. Super Sports United won the DSTV Asidali Diski Challenge following a 1-1 tie with Keza Chiefs on Saturday, the last game of the 2022-2023 season. It was Keza Chiefs who scored an opener in the second half of the game and Super Sports United cancelled the one-goal lead by Happy Morales' equalizer in the 79th minute.
The coach of Super Sports United, Tabo September, said it has been a dream to be champions as the 2021-2022 season, they came the second position in the league. In the second half, I think the tempo went up a bit on both sides. And um, yeah, a fair result to get a 1-1. But about our season, the whole season, we've, we've really dig deeper from what we did last season. Because we came second and we wanted to go one step forward, you know, and, and, and come first. And um, it, a lot of dedication from these players behind me, a lot of hard work, a lot of, a lot of teamwork. So um, I'm proud for, for, for the club. I'm proud for these players. The man of the match and the goal scorer of the equaliser, Jape Moralo, says it's hard work and dedication that made the team to focus on being champions of the DSTV Asitali Tiski Challenge. It has not been an easy season for us as a team. Uh, we knew that we had to try and salvage the trophy because last season we came out second place. So uh, for us, we knew what we had to do. We needed to fix our mentality and make sure that we give it a go again this season. And for me, um, it has not been an easy performance throughout the season. Um, I had to pull up my socks because I'm one of the senior players. So I had to make sure that I put in my foot forward and lead the team. The champions of multi-choice Disney Challenge Super Sports United will be going to Europe to go and participate with other teams that are playing in Akarim. For Soweto TV Sports News, I am Katakumusielele.